well, they don't have a House of Commons, but where all the senators were. Good morning, Washington. That's where we're parked, right there. Look at that parallel parking job. I'm good at what I do. Don't think the guy behind us has any kind of ticket on his. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is here. This, uh, this city so far reminds me a lot of Paris. Just way less people. So this is where most of the world's problems start. Right here. It's all downhill from here, Shelby. <laughs> But we'll be traveling through some of your home territory soon. Mm -hmm. Right there. Shelby's ancestors were deported from the United States by, by the Americans and then into Canada. And now, where's your, where's, where's it right about? Here somewhere. Yeah, right in there somewhere. I think it's right across from Rochester. Personally, I'm glad you're Canadian. You glad I got kicked on to the other side? Yeah. So far, I'm really impressed with this gallery. It's shown a lot of very two-sided information. Yeah, it seems like there's good um, conversation happening. Good con yeah, multiple perspectives, good conversation. I mean, they've got to cover a lot of information in only a short amount of time, so still cool. We are back at the van for some lunch. I gotta pay for the parking again. Move the van because you only get two hours of parking. Man, you can be at museums all day here. There's so much to see. Um, we're actually just Abraham Lincoln statues like right over there. And the Capitol Hill thing is right over there. And we're having hot dogs right here. It's kind of cool. It's pretty cool. It's a weird thing about our house. We can take a nap, you know, if you want. Take um, a nap next, <laughs> next to Abraham. Yeah, anyway, we're gonna head back out and uh, check out some more museums in a minute. But uh, lunch first. Got some hot dogs. Good review. Potato salad. Good review. Yeah, man, mm -hmm. really crazy. And all the Smithsonian ones are free, which I'm always down for. And you asked the girl if it was free, and she was like, yeah. Yeah, like I was <laughs> crazy for asking. I'm like, that's what it's all about, man. I Museums think that and galleries should always be free. They should be free, and especially in the nation's capital. Ottawa needs to get with it. We need to support our galleries more and our museums more. That's what we need to be doing. Because that's where the learning happens. That's where the learning happens. And the exhibits there, oh my god. Like multi-perspective, introverted, crazy dichotomies going on. It was so cool. And the building was beautiful. The building was gorgeous and there were a thousand screaming children, but that's okay. Yeah, they didn't bother me. They were, yeah, they oddly were, enough, didn't bother the me that much The children were really respective, respectful in the exhibitions. Yeah. They were just running and screaming in the hallways. That's it. And that's, well, that's a perfect nice. place for running and screaming children. Yeah, except for the one kid that fell down the stairs. That, and he was fine. It was a she. She was fine. Bounced straight back up. The kids bounce, man. Who cares? Mmm, lunchy lunch. But straight up, though, this area reminds me of uh, Chant de Mal from uh, Paris so much. Just no festivals or cool things happening as we're walking through. Instead, it's just a bunch of people in suits and tourists, like us. What a beautiful, bland square of humanity. Hey Shelby, don't you feel like you're walking into some kind of future movie, futuristic movie? Yeah. Like Getting to my space pod. 1980s ideal of the future? Yeah. Bye. Miss you. Uh.
would you describe that collection of artists and exhibition of stuff? It seemed to have a lot to do with storytelling and a lot to do with uh, the way we t choose to tell stories, but man, it just seemed like such a diverse body of artists. I had a hard time stringing it all together. Well, it was just part of their collection. It wasn't a show. Oh, okay. Well, that explains that. I just have no idea what's going on. Okay, cool. Off to see Abraham Lincoln. How you doing, Shelby? You feeling all right? I'm thirsty. And sore? Yeah. And your legs are sore? I did squats at the gym like three days ago and my legs still hurt. That's what you get for being healthy. And I've walked 10,600 steps well, already today. It's she's... hot out too and I'm thirsty. Did I mention Ooh. I'm thirsty? Oh, she's thirsty. And it's hot out. Did I mention it's hot out? Oh no. But we're going to go see Abraham Lincoln right now. He's a, I hear he's a total babe. It's worth the walk. We can make it. American flags in your entire life. There's a lot of American flags. Like instead of having one big American flag, they just had to have like... Is there like the same number as the states? How many states are there? 50? 50... 52? 51? I don't know. I'm not good at this. I don't know. All right, our uh, parking pass has definitely run up by now. We're right? in 15 minutes ago. 15 minutes ago. We've got like half an hour walk. Oh, we have so far to walk still. I really hope they haven't uh, ticketed us. I don't think they can physically tow us. So Champ I think we're doing- eat them. They tried. And Champ would eat them. So there's that too. But we gotta get back because it's time to go see a friend of my family is my sister's godfather, David. And his family, they live uh, just north of us. So we're gonna go check that out now. Go say hi and uh, crash in their driveway tonight. I am dying. You feel like they're gonna fall off. Yeah. Like it's really cool here because you can go to all these museums and that's rad and everything. But it's so big. There's so much space and to go from one end to the other. My legs are gonna fall right off. Uh, good news, her van is still there. Uh, I don't see anything apparently wrong with it right now. No tickets either. Man, we're having a good day. We made it back to the car. We're back to the car. I'm gonna try and make it out of uh, DC in the middle of rush hour. It's not looking good so far, but yeah, you know. I also lost my keys. Somewhere. Somewhere. On our journey. Because I'm basically a child and can't be trusted with anything. Hey, you had them for like at least a year. I hate, I hate losing things. I used to do it all the time. Gotten a lot better at it, but when I still, it still happens from time to time and it just drives me crazy. Um, yeah. So we lost your keys, but we didn't get a ticket. We no parking ticket, no keys, six us. But luckily, I have pretty much every key that you have on my keychain. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, Shelby is like my backup on everything. She knows always what's going on. She knows where we're going. She knows what all the numbers are, whose the names are, where we're, who we're meeting and where. And she's also got spares of everything I could possibly lose. So, she's basically the boss. a bit of a flavor party. Shelby's doing all the ice cream. I'm doing um, all, all, all the ice, ice cream creams. buffet. I know. Ice cream. Ben and Jerry. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm actually trying out the ceramic pour over as opposed to my plastic one. I want to see if there's a difference. I'm assuming there's not. I'm hoping there's not because if there is, then that means I'm tasting plastic in all my coffee. <laughs> they can all jump in. Shelby's enjoying thing. all the extra square footage. <laughs> In a big regular house. She's so much room for activities. Yeah. Um, we are visiting 
the K's. Yeah. Who are well, David is is Sam's my sister Sam's godfather. Godfather, and uh, um, which is story. fitting because she's American. So she's an American godfather. <laughs> it's true. To guide her in the American way. Nothing like the movie. <laughs> Nothing like the movie at all. The godfather. <laughs> like, what do I do? I'm the godfather. He's way he's way dorkier than than the Godfather in the movie. <laughs> totally. Anyway, that's where we are. I don't know. We're stretching out. Stretching out, doing Have laundry. We're eating good food and hanging out with good people. Yeah, Champ is enjoying the space. <laughs> and that's that's our plans for tonight. Mm -hmm. Go eat your ice cream. It's, it's, it's thawing. I have to this wait. Here. The deal is pistachio ice cream with a little bit of Grand Marnier and taste test. taste test. Okay, come on, taste it. We want to know the verdict. Interesting? Nutty. Nutty? Nutty. It tastes, good. it tastes the aftertaste right off of it. Yeah. Different. It's weird because it bites at first and then it just mellows right out. Mm -hmm. Simon's getting crunk. <laughs> Imagine if like ice cream liquor became a thing. Oh yeah, it, oh, is it is a thing. It is a thing. So what they did is they, they didn't chop it all the way to the front, they chopped it right where the bed starts. So that part is supported by is like steel rolling? frame. And then the rest is like a solid wood piece Ooh, that comes in. Okay. Support so, um, we've got a three burner stove. Yeah. And it's cramped, but like I wish I could stand up straight. This is cool. Yeah. This is a Wi-Fi antenna. See how they look. What do you guys think? It's cool. Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> I want to live in one. <laughs> Tiny well, you can sleep They're in so here. They'll cute. sleep inside. Too. Yeah, we'll switch got, you for the night. Like <laughs> we'll wake you up for school. You know, Simon, you've never demonstrated how to do that before in our videos. I think you should do that again. I don't think anyone. Um, so, right now, it's got all these pillows that are usually down there, but. Um, but. Oh, that's so sexy. You lay down like this. Do you ever just hit like your head though? Inches. You see? I don't think we've ever shown okay. in our videos like how this bed really works. Well, uh, this is not a good time because it's full of these pillows, which are usually part of the couch. I just want you to demonstrate Brad. how you get down. Come on. You make me do this in front of camera. Come on. People. It's a little demonstration. It's so weird. I can feel the. <laughs> All right. Get a nice clean shot of that butt. No. Sure watch your I'm feet. shooting like your feet. feet. It could be edited out. There you go. So it's yeah, it's not it's not for the faint of heart for sure. <laughs> but um, it was either that or keep a gigantic ladder in our van, and I was like, I'm not keeping that ladder. Maybe too. What are you guys doing, Simon? We're gonna place it N64. No, no, no. And you're gonna get smashed in your game of choice. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm always curvy, but how do you press? There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh.